morning. It's end day. Oh, let me try my mom's thing. It's end day today. Today, you get to write a note to somebody special in your life. It's note day. So I'm going to help you write a note to somebody. Um, I'm going to use my board today. I haven't had my board for so long. We used to use this board every day in reading. Um, we're going to write a note to somebody today. I'm going to write a note up here and then you can write a note uh, with chalk outside on your driveway if you have chalk or you can get a piece of paper and write it on a piece of paper. You can write it on anything you can find as long as it's okay with your mom and dad. You can write it on practically anything. Paper, cardstock, you can write it on an actual card if you have an actual card. A thank you card, you can write it on anything that's special that you can find that you can write on. Even on if you have a coloring book, if you have a coloring book page, if you want to color a coloring book page and write a little note in the corner of a coloring book page if you really love to color, that would be a great place to write a special note to somebody because then they know how much you love coloring. So um, that would be special. All right. Let's get started with cheers and then I have a whole bunch of fun things to show you, some special things, and then we'll do, we'll do a lot of fun activities today. Here we go. Let's get started with cheers. Ready? Rhyming. You get to tell me which word rhymes. If it rhymes, thumbs up. If it doesn't rhyme, thumbs down. We're going to do these really fast today. We'll make them fast and short. Here we go. Okay. Drove, grove. Does it rhyme? Yes, it does. Grin, green. Do they rhyme? They do not. Gruff, grove. No, they do not. Brown, crown. Yes, they do. Frost, front. No, they don't rhyme. All right, let's move on. Let's do beginning sounds. You're going to find the blend at the beginning of the two words. Here we go. Grade grass. Gur. Paint, or sorry, print prairie. Purr. All right. Brave bridge. Burr. Right. Front frown. Fur. All right. Moving on. Get your choppers ready. Here we go. I'm going to chop up a word. You help me put it together, and then you're going to help me chop it up. Ready? Here we go. Er, I, z. Fries. Let's chop it up. Ready? Er, I, z. Here we go. New word. G, er, a, s. What is that word? Grass. Let's chop it up. Ready? G, er, a, s. All right. New word. Ready? T, er, a, o. What is that when you put it all together? Trail. Let's chop it up. Chop up trail. T -er -a -o. Here we go. New word. K -k -er -e -k. Hmm, what is that when you put it together? Creek. Let's chop it up. Creek. K -er -e -k. Next word. And last word. Ready? Er, it, what's that when you chop, when you put it together? Trip. Let's chop it up. T er, it, All right. Now let's punch it out. What's the, oh, we're not punching these ones out. We're going to find the middle sound. Let's hop on the roller coaster. Here we go. Let's find the middle sound in these words. Ready? Climb. Ready? Climb. I. Ready? Steam. Let's find the middle sound in steam. Get on the roller coaster. Steam. E. Good job. Trap. Trap. F. Float. Float. O. Stop. Stop. Good job. All right. Now let's get 
your choppers back on and let's pop up some words. Here we go. Prune. P er, u, n. Prune. Good job. Drag. D, er, a, g. Good job. Drag. Train. Train. T, er, a, n. Good job. Groan. Groan. G, er, o, n. My turn. Crab. Crab. K, er, a, b. Crab. One more. Ready? Grid. Grid. G, er, i, d. Good job. All right. Now, let's add something to the beginning and see what it makes. Ready? Wrap. Add a tur. Trap. Write. Add a b. Bright. Rash. Add a k. Crash. Did you say that? Good job. Okay. Real. Add a duh. Drill. Did you say drill? Good job. All right. Ray. Add a g. Gray. Hopefully you said gray. Good job. All right. Now we're going to take a sound away. Here we go. All right. Trip. Take away the t. What's left? Rip. Is that what you said? All right. Brag. Take away the b. What's left? Rag. These are harder because we're take we're 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 uh, breaking up the blend. So you have to really really listen and think about it because we're breaking up that beginning blend at the beginning of the word. It's a little bit tricky. Okay, ready? Prince. Take away the p. What's left? Rinse. That's so tricky. Okay, one more. Ready? Fruit. Take away the f. What's left? Root. Did you say root? That is so awesome. If you said root, good job. Okay, last one. One, two, three, four, five. Keep those fists alive. Here we go. Ready? Fries. Take away the fur and change it to a tur. Fries. Tries. Okay, two more. Ready? Frank. Take away the fur and change it to a purr. Prank. All right, last one. Press. Take away the purr and change it to a dir. Dress. Is that what you said? Awesome. Okay. Now we are going to skip. We're going to skip the singing today. I know you guys love to sing with me, but we're going to skip the singing so that we can do fluency and fitness and get through all of our learning things today. I have so many fun things today for you. First of all, I have some exciting news. Actually, it's not too exciting because I have shown you these, but our, 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 our not our butterflies, our caterpillars are on their chrysalises. And yes, the sad news is two of them did fall, but the good news is, is that Sometimes when they do fall, they do live. So I'm really, really hoping that they do live. So let's figure this out. If we have one, two, three, four, five of them that are on top, that are in their chrysalises, and two chrysalises fell on the bottom, how many do we have all together? We have five plus two. Five plus two is seven, okay. So if we have seven all together, seven take away, seven take away two, we have to take away two 
because two of them fell. So seven, we're gonna take away two. So let's do that with my fingers. We had seven chrysalises up on top. We have to take away two because two of them fell down. How many are left? Five, right? Five of them. So five of them are up on top and they're where they should be. So five of them will hopefully turn into butterflies. Two of them might, we're not really sure about it. Two of them might, but I'm guessing five of them will. And I have to be so, so careful so those ones don't fall. All right, I also have some other news. Hopefully you have good news too. My garden in a glove is growing. I hope yours is too. I think every one of my seeds except for one is sprouting. I'm so happy. I see sprouts coming out. I'm so excited. They all have sprouts. So hopefully yours are sprouting too. I even see some leaves on some of mine already. The little teeny tiniest ones already have leaves on theirs. They already have some parts of the plant. So I'm gonna go over the parts of a plant with you. So I see this part of the plant on almost all of them. This is the root. The root is the part that goes down. And then this part is growing on some of them. This is the stem. The stem is the part that usually comes out of the soil. And this part, I wonder if any of you know what this part is. This is the one I just barely mentioned. The leaf, the leaf is a part that catches the food for the plant. Yeah, that's the part that actually makes the food for the plant, the leaf. That's its job, it makes food for the plant. And this one is a bud. The bud is the part that actually the flower comes off of. So there's a bud and a flower right there. All right, so hopefully you will start seeing these parts of the plant on your plant soon. <laughs> And you can let it grow and grow and grow. I am not sure. I haven't ever let mine grow that much. This is the first time I have planted a farm in a glove. So we'll get to see what your farm in the glove ends up looking like. I'm excited to see what mine looks like too. This is my experiment too. All right. So those are two exciting things I wanted to share with you. And then one other is that I was really sad. I forgot to do my drawing yesterday. I usually do it on Mondays. So today, I'm going to draw five names of friends in our class that have been working really hard on their online learning. I know all of you have been doing such a good job and I'm so very proud of you. So I'm going to draw five names and then I, what, I've been, what I've had to do is I can't come to your houses anymore. I'm not allowed to come to your houses anymore. Unfortunately, I would love to. But what I do is I do a Zoom conference with, the, with these friends, just these friends. <laughs> So I'll have a Zoom conference with you today and you'll get to choose your candy and then I take it over to the school and you can pick it up at the school, okay? So I will be telling, having your parents who have a Zoom conference with just these kiddos today and they get to choose the candy that they want out of my bucket and um, then I'll take it over to the school. So these are the friends that I choose. Let's see. Connor, Connor Matthews. Give him a round of applause. Woo, Connor, good job. And Naomi, Naomi Cannon. Woo, Naomi, good job. And Jackson, woohoo, Jackson, good job, Jackson. And Ian, good job, Ian's been working hard on his work. And Lincoln, those are my kiddos who got the, oh, and let's give Lincoln a round of applause. Lincoln, good job, Lincoln. Good job, friends. The, those are my kiddos who I'm gonna have a Zoom conference with today and they'll get to choose their treats. So keep on working on your online learning and I hope everybody will get to choose a special treat out of my awesome treat bucket this year. So keep on working. Good job. All right, let's do a note. So I want to work on a special note today. 
So maybe I want to do it to, I want to write a note to my mom because she's pretty special. So let's write mom. Mm. Ah. Hmm. I think it's an O. Ah. Mm. Mom. Mom. You know I'm going to put this comma thing. That's what I usually do when I write notes to my special people. And I'm going to say I. I always start a sentence with a capital I. Oh, oh, space, space. New word. Oh, uh, 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 that's a uh. Love, v, 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 love. I love makerspace you. Oh, I know how to spell you. That's a sight word. Y O U. Y O U. And I really love my mom. Really love her. So I'm going to do an exclamation point. Mom, I love you. Okay? And then I'm going to write my name. And my name, I don't, when I'm talking to my mom, I don't call myself Mrs. Smith. I say my name. And my name is Mindy. So I'm going to write my name. Mom, I love you, Mindy. So that's what I would write to my mom. And then I would write my name. I might even say love. So I'm going to write love. You know what? I just remembered. That's not how you spell love. Because I've written love before at the bottom of letters. I just remembered that. It's L-O-V-E. Remember? Like the song. L-O-V-E spells love. Can you hear it? L-O-V-E. I just remembered that. So sometimes I think of things later and then I can go change it. So I'm going to go change this word. I just remembered that. So I'm going to change that word. I just thought of that. I sounded it out and it seemed right, but then it didn't seem right when I got down here. Mom, I love you. Love, Mindy. So hopefully you can write somebody special a note today in your life. I want you all to think about somebody special. Maybe there's a whole bunch of somebody specials and you can write a whole bunch of somebody specials notes today in your life. In fact, if you can convince your moms or dads that um, you can write a note today and not do your writing today, I don't even feel sad. You can show them this video and you don't even need to do your writing today. If you will write notes to people today, you don't even need to do the writing part of your homework today as long as you're writing some notes do notes today instead. I would love that, okay? All right, I have a fun story for you today. It's called Arabella Miller's Tiny Caterpillar. It's by Claire Terrett. And I love the story because it's about a little caterpillar. We had some caterpillars, so I wanted to read you a caterpillar story. Little Arabella Miller met a tiny caterpillar. One day when she was climbing trees, she found it crawling on her sleeve. She said, hello, caterpillar. My name's Arabella Miller. Little Arab Arabella Miller carried stripy caterpillar through the garden with great care and settled in her favorite chair. She said, tiny caterpillar safe with Arabella Miller. Little Arabella Miller loved her wiggly caterpillar. First, he climbed upon her mother, then upon her baby brother. Mom said, Arabella Miller, Put away your caterpillar. <laughs> it's crawling on her baby brother's hat. Little Arabella Miller made a home for caterpillar. She stuffed a shoebox full of flowers, then leaves and grass. She worked for hours. She said, tiny caterpillar, stay with Arabella Miller. Look how nice. She made a little home for the caterpillar. Little Arabella Miller gathered food for caterpillar, curly cabbage, crisp and crunchy, frizzy pars parsley, fresh and munchy. He mixed his meals up. First came brunch, then dinner, breakfast, snack, and lunch. Mm, those rhyme, don't they? He chomped and chewed and slurped, then crack. <gasps> his skin split all along his back. And underneath it, big and baggy, was a new one, soft and saggy. Look, he got so big and chubby, he had to get he had to get rid of his old skin. 
He ate and ate and grew and grew, for that's what caterpillars do. On sunny days and in the rain, he shed his skin time and again. One hazy, lazy afternoon, she watched him work and hummed a tune. He made a shell with him inside, the perfect cozy place to hide. Look, he's making a cocoon right there on the plant. That's a good place, right? Weeks went by and Arabella missed her friendly caterpillar. She pictured him curled up in bed inside his house upon its thread. Every day she saw it gleaming and wondered what he could be dreaming. Then one day her caterpillar puzzled Arabella Miller. She saw him moving, poking through and out he came completely new. <gasps> oh, said Arabella Miller. You're so different, caterpillar. <laughs> is it a caterpillar anymore? No, no, it is not, is it? She held her breath and watched in awe as he was changing more and more. Bright wings unfolded, stretched to dry. Then up he floated to the sky. Now, it said something interesting, didn't it? It said that his wings, bright wings unfolded and stretched to dry. So it tells you something interesting that's gonna to happen to our caterpillar. When it comes out of its cocoon, what are its wings gonna to have to do? They're going to have to stretch and dry, aren't they? Yeah, that's an interesting thing that we just learned, isn't it? Goodbye, goodbye, away you fly my very special butterfly. <laughs> now it's gonna show us the life cycle of a butterfly. The egg, here's the egg on a leaf, and then the caterpillar comes out of the egg and it crawls around and it eats and eats and it gets big and then it turns into a chrysalis and then it becomes a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> You. I love that story. It's so fun. I like it because it rhymes and it tells a fun story about how a caterpillar becomes a butterfly. I really, really like that story. All right, friends. One more thing before you go. We're going to do middle sounds for our fluency and fitness today. Are you ready? Let's turn it up. We'll turn our sound up and we're going to listen or not listen, we're gonna look at some pictures and we're gonna do the middle sound. So we can use our uh, roller coaster and try and figure out the middle sounds. We'll catch the middle sounds in the words. Okay, ready, everybody? Stand up, I'm gonna get rid of my chair because I'm gonna stand up too. Here we go. What sound do you hear in the middle of the word?
Ready? Box. Ah. Uh. Sun. Sun. Ah. Uh. Uh. Top. Top. Oh, lid. That was a lid. Oh well. <laughs> Matt. Matt. So bad at the floss. <laughs> I'm so not good at the floss. Dog, dog. Ah. Uh. Bug, bug. Ah. Uh. Uh. Fin, fin. Eh. Bed, bed. Eh. Fox, fox. Maybe that's wishful thinking, but we'll keep watching our chrysalis for our caterpillar. And we'll keep reading some stories. This week is actually insect week, so we're going to re keep reading some stories about insects. So have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.